Playoff Profile Series brought to you by Celtics.com. Welcome to the Celtics.com Draft Profile Series. I'm Amanda Flubrad, and today we are highlighting LSU forward Jarrell Martin. And joining us on the phone to talk more about him as a player is LSU head basketball coach Johnny Jones. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me on. Well, Coach, Jarrell played small forward for you at LSU. Do you think that he is capable of playing small forward at the NBA level? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, what was so good about Jarrell, he showed the ability to play on the perimeter force uh, for two years here after being moved uh, from the center spot from high school. I thought he did an excellent job uh, as a freshman uh, trying to learn exactly what it took uh, to play on the perimeter uh, while still being utilized inside. And I thought his sophomore season, he was able to put it all together from his ball handling skills, passing, reading defenses, and then at the same time being able to defend on the perimeter. Well, you mentioned his versatility, but what do you think really is his greatest strength? Well, I think his ability to score. He can create opportunities uh, for himself off the bounce, uh, especially on the perimeter, and he can certainly space the floor because he can shoot the basketball. Uh, but I think offensively what he possesses uh, because his ability to work angles, uh, his ball handling skills, and again, I think his greatest asset is creating opportunities for other people on the floor with the ball in his hand uh, because of his passing skills and his ability to score. Well, Jarrell decided to stay for his sophomore season. How much development did you see from him from year one to year two, both on the court as well, in the lo- as, well as in the locker room? Well, I think what showed was his basketball IQ because he came from a high school situation where he was playing center. Uh, and uh, he didn't he didn't have to be utilized as much out on the perimeter, and then getting to college to Division One school, and not only having to learn the post where he actually played inside force at the four, uh, been playing on the on the perimeter as well, where everything is really uh, different for him in the two positions, and to be able to embrace that, and, and to be able to do it and learn all those spots on the floor, and run all the steps that we run, and then to be able to master that. As a sophomore, I think it says a lot about his IQ, about his ability uh, to learn. And then he just became that leader uh, for a basketball team. He was able to take our team on several occasions uh, this past season and just take over games and and allow us to win basketball games just because of his presence out there on the floor and uh, just willing his uh, team uh, to victories uh, when we were short bid because of injuries, because of foul trouble, whatever it could have been. He was able to rise to the occasion, and uh, he was special for us. You mentioned that presence, but he really has a reputation of playing with a lot of energy. What would you say gives him that high motor? Well, I think it's just his uh, uh, will to win. Uh, I think he has a great passion for the game. He loves being in the gym. Uh, he's a gym rat, loves to play, and I think winning is so important to him. And uh, one game in particular, heck, he played over uh, 40 minutes. He played 40 minutes for us in a, a game at the end of the year uh, against Arkansas and to have to play on the perimeter and then have to play inside against a team that uh, certainly do a lot of transition. And at the end of the game, he seemed as though that he was as fresh as if the game had just stored it. But that's just how he plays, and uh, you can expect that. And not one time uh, doing practice or games, we had to talk about his ability uh, to play harder or give his energy on the floor. He's just built that way. Well, and finally, Coach, you mentioned all the strengths that he really possesses, but are there any areas that he really needs to improve on to play and, and be an NBA caliber player? Well, I think the great thing for Jarrell is that he has the ability to rise to the occasion and he will have an opportunity to see at that next level and playing in the NBA, you're going to run into guys who are bigger, faster, just as strong, and he will continue to develop. Uh, One of the things that we didn't ask him to do as much uh, in college, but he has an act toward doing, he has the ability to really stretch the defense and really shoot it with with consistency and uh, regularity from outside, and he will be able to, to continue to develop that, and if there's an area that he'll probably continue to work on right now. That would be one of them. And his ability, to, uh, because he had to go uh, more post guy sometime than on the perimeter, he will continue to develop uh, guard perimeter guys at that next level who uh, would require whole, uh, some work for him, but he has the ability to adapt as well. 
All right, Coach. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. And we also wish you and Jarrell good luck this offseason as well as going into the draft. We sure you appreciate it. We're looking forward uh, to some great things happening for Jarrell, and we're excited for him. All right, we'll make sure to stay right here on Celtics.com for more player draft profiles throughout the summer. Thanks for watching. I'm Amanda Flugrad.